Well, uh, same as last time, pretty much. Uh, you know, we want to focus in on uh, self-reliance. So coming here and uh, having the free educational seminars for how to take care of you yourself or your family during calamities, uh, basic skills, so survival skills, uh, firearm skills, self-defense skills, you know, and then of course doing a little shopping. Uh, there's a lot of products here, even the Philippine Inventor Society, the unsinkable boats, the, uh, uh, the lanterns that work off uh, acid-based uh, liquid and uh, you know, firearms, which is a intricate part. We have a lot of new brands here as well. We have uh, Federal Ammunition, uh, Deere Arms, uh, Caltech, uh, North American Arms here represented. Uh, so it's uh, even more expanded product line on the firearms and ammunition. Um, you know, you can also do your LTOP. Uh, we have our LTOP caravan on site releasing. Um, PPSA and Peacemoke are here too. If you're a competition shooter, you need to uh, visit their booth and sign up for uh, their club so that you can uh, join sports shooting. So all in all, it's a fairly complete show. We're looking at ways of improving, so we want to, uh, we brought in more survival uh, people. I, I think that's really what was our focus, was not to make this just a gun show. Um, I think that's been our goal all, all along, is that uh, we want to make this a survival expo. Guns are a good, important part of survival, so we have to bring in more people. So you'll notice there's more like go bags, uh, safety equipment, things like that, uh, suppliers here, uh, rather than just uh, firearms and ammunition. So yes, there's seminars right now for self-defense for women. I believe it's on Sunday uh, when they're going to have it. Women, there are more women than men. And I don't want to sound sexist, but men generally are physically stronger than women. And uh, the great equalizer is learning self-defense, whether it be with a firearm, with your hands, even just basic techniques on how to run away from your assailant. You know, um, good to learn self-defense. You know, good to learn about firearms. Yes, we do have several shows, the exact dates, um, you know, go, go like the Arms Corps page, we'll be posting um, all the show dates there. We'll have them in uh, Mega Mall, SM Aura, MOA, um, as well as other cities outside of Metro Manila. Um, uh, I believe Davao and Cebu are on, on the list as well. Um, we want to take this concept around the country. Next year is a gun ban year, so everything's compressed to within six months. Um, the following year after that, it'll be over a one-year period, hopefully six to seven shows. I think there's even a mini uh, show in April during gun ban in Camp Crame, so there's no transportation permit issues or Comelec issues. And we also hope that the Comelec will be kind enough to let sports shooting go on throughout the gun ban, because the top shooters uh, in the world now are Filipinos. We have to be able to practice. It's a perishable skill, so I hope that uh, we can continue uh, sports shooting throughout the gun ban and uh, focus at least on that. Uh, the legal shooter is not the criminal. We don't, you don't have to worry about us for ERVs. Go join a gun club. Start sports shooting. There's many gun clubs all around the country. Of course, Arms Corps, you can go to any Arms Corps shooting range or our store and join our gun club. Uh, we have our ranges in Marikina um, for competition and outdoor shooting. We have our shooting ranges in Makati Cinema Square, Tarlac, uh, Cebu, Davao. And, um, you know, this is a good opportunity to learn not only self-defense but the sports shoot. But if you don't go to an arm score, there's plenty of others. You know, there's beautiful ranges. Uh, in Lipa, there's a wonderful range, front sight range there. They, they, uh, it's 36 bays, beautiful. Uh, and new ranges opening all the time and so it's a sport that benefits you not only for the competition but for self-defense and your right to life. <laughs>